Good morning, grade five girls. How are you today? Today we'll complete our lesson. How do scientists support their conclusions? Today is Tuesday, 28 April, 2020. Open page 347. Learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to know how to do investigations and to know how to analyze and interpret information and draw conclusions. Today we will talk about review and retest. Scientists must describe exactly what they did in a, an experiment and how they did it. Review and retest. Scientists must describe exactly what they did in an experiment and how they did it. This allowed other scientists working in the same field to replicate the experiment to see if, to compare between their results, to see if the results are the same. So they may also ask questions about the experiment and point out problems. So in science, communication is it important because scientists must describe their procedures and report their finding honestly. So they must answer questions, although some variation in the result is acceptable, but, but the result from different scientists should be similar. If the results are not consistent, then the experiment must be done again. So, Question number three, let's do think these scientists may be able talking about underline a statement in the test text that supports your answer. What is it the answer here? What did you think these scientists uh, may be talking about? Yes, they are talking about results of experiments or problems with an experiment. You have to underline that here, go back here, please and underline, ask a question about the experiment and point out problems. So, now I, I will ask you some questions. I want to, you to do it as groups. Number one, tell two things the scientists in the picture may be talking about. Yes, excellent. Results of experiments, problems with an experiment. Question number two, why is it important that other scientists can repeat experiments? It is important because results from an experiment that cannot be repeated are unreliable. Question number three, what are two ways that scientists make their data available to other scientists? Excellent. It's they publish their results in a print or online journal, and they go to conferences with other scientists. Now, go it. I want from you to answer this question as groups. Explain the difference between an observation and inference. Excellent. Observation is uh, information you can see or measure. But inference is a conclusion based on observation. This is the difference between them. Now, question number five, why is it important that the scientist conclusions are based on evidence? All of you answer it as groups. In order for a conclusion to be accepted by scientific community, it must be based on facts. Now, please, all of you focus with me in this video. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Mr. Cormier from Parker Elementary. The topic of this video is the importance of learning how to communicate the results of your experience. so you can share your knowledge with others. 
Some of you may think that once a scientist writes down the results of an experiment, the job is done. That's not true. One of the most important parts of doing an investigation is learning how to share these results with others. Maybe the scientist wants to ask other scientists to conduct the same experiment to increase the reliability of the results. Or maybe communicating the results can help cure a disease or solve some other problem. Scientists need to be good communicators, both verbally and in writing. After we make a conclusion in an investigation, the next thing we must do is clearly present the results to others using a variety of communication methods. One of my students has made a video lab report to communicate his results of our class experiment. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Coleman from Parker Elementary. In my class, we conducted an investigation about fertilizers. We want to see which type of fertilizer would best help a plant grow. So we asked a question, which of these three fertilizers produce the most overall plant growth in a given time period? We each formed our own hypothesis. For four weeks, we gave each plant the same amount of light, air, and water. However, plant A was given the blue synthetic fertilizer, plant B was given this organic pellet fertilizer, and plant C was given the peat moss as fertilizer. After two weeks, we made some observations and measurements about our, about our plants. We measured that plant A was taller than the other two plants. We also observed that plant A was greener than the other two plants. Based on our observations, we concluded that plant A's fertilizer was the most effective. We repeated the experiment a few times. We and have each time, plant A's fertilizer was the most effective. This ensured that our results were accurate enough to give a valid conclusion. Thank you, Coleman. Coleman's presentation was clear, accurate, and communicated well. From his presentation, we can conduct the same experiment. Okay, thank you, my dear student, for your listening. And uh, tomorrow you have a uh, we have a worksheet to solve it. Thank you, my dear student, for your listening.